All right, guys, so we just made it here to the parking lot. Um, we're gonna just send some laps. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the difference real quick. So as you can see here, we have our PVCs and our HDPs. <laughs> um, so this is our slippier compound. Uh, this is really nice if there's like a little bit more of an abrasive surface. Uh, it just gives you the chance to be able to do some slower tandems where you're like able to sit there with your friends, practice, learn how to get like in the pocket. These are really nice if you have less horsepower. They just spin a lot easier. They're not as grippy, especially when they heat up. And then the PVCs are, are like grip monsters. So these things, when they heat up like a real tire and drifting, like uh, you'll get insane amount of grip. So for us, it's not that hard. We have the 10 kilowatt motors and then we have our 18 horsepower built motor. Um, so they spin them pretty easily, even when they heat up. Uh, a thing that we had in the past that was very hard was it would heat up a lot and we wouldn't be able to kick it out because we just didn't have enough power. So we fixed that problem. And today we're just gonna be showing you guys some tandems. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So as you see right here, we have our brand new PVCs that we just installed. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of how we break them in. Uh, you're gonna want to break them in because if not, and you just try to go full send right off the bat without them, you know, having a little of abrasion on there, they're just gonna be too slippery on you. So I'm gonna show you the breaking process. Pretty simple, just do a couple burnouts, something fun, send a lap. Uh, like half, you know, like 50%. And uh, yeah, should be fun from there. Let's get it. Oh, another thing I wanted to add real quick about the comparison from our HDPs and our PVC is that the uh, HDPs actually last probably around two times longer. Uh, it's really nice because if you just want to have like low budget, like party tires, I guess you would want to say, uh, those are your best options. So also, if you guys are interested at all, uh, we have our link in bio in the description, go check it out and get yourself a cart. All right guys, so I uh, got my safety helmet on and I want you guys to check this out. We have the tires. Um, you can see this is just driving around the lot. They get pretty abrasive, but they're still pretty slippery. So what you want them to more look like is this abrasive um, like surface area right here. That just shows you that you're ready to go. You're gonna have the grip, uh, just get a little life in them. So same way you do in a real drift car, burn up your tires, get some heat in them. So yeah, let's send it. So as you guys can now see, the surface area of the tire or PVC um, is a lot more abrasive. There's no more smooth spots on there. And yeah, these things are ready to rip for you guys. So let's get the boys on helmets and let's go get some laps. All right guys, so uh, we just got finished with a couple laps and damn, these things are fun. So the biggest problem that I had with the gas cars before was that there wasn't enough horsepower. And now there is the PVCs can heat up, which they're very hot right now. We did like six or seven laps back to back. And uh, yeah, it just stays there. It's perfect power, a lot of fun. You could throw it full throttle and it'll, uh, it'll grip up on you. So they're just like real drift tires is like how I like to explain it. And uh, I think right now we're about to throw on some HDPs, show you guys the difference of how, how much slipperier they are, uh, a lot more fun for like slow tandems. And yeah, let's get it.
Oh my, okay, those are some fun laps. Um, we honestly did, I think, a couple more laps than we did with the uh, PVCs, and wow, that was fun. We uh, barely put a dent in these. Um, as you can see, we tried to do, uh, it was a little bit different, it's hard. Like, I was trying to pedal it <laughs> and stay with him, but he would always lose me here in the middle section, and you know, it is what it is. It's a lot more fun. It's really a challenge trying to chase the electric and the gas, and that's a whole different thing we'll get into. But as you can see, the HTPs uh, are honestly very fun tires, tires, uh, material. They are a lot more slippier. They last longer, not as fast. You can really surge onto people when you want to. And uh, yeah, honestly, very fun. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we're on some concrete and a little parking lot. And uh, what we found and what we recommend personally is the HCPs for concrete. This is more of a abrasive surface that is um, a lot more grippy. And so the HCPs really offset that and give you a very fun uh, compound that you can go drift on. And here we are with the PVC cart. Um, this material we found that, uh, and we recommend for as or asphalt, it is uh, not as abrasive and not as like much grip as the concrete. So the PVC really is a lot more fun. You can get some more fast tandems. Uh, you can huck it in a little bit faster and trust the cart to uh, keep you there. So yeah, that's what we could recommend for both uh, compounds, different types of surface areas. And um, obviously the HTPs, as you see, still work on the asphalt. Uh, it's what we recommend, and we'd love to see what you guys think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, walking through with me on the carts, getting to see the different compounds we have, the different surfaces that we drift on, and the differences even between the gas and electric carts. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, what are your thoughts? Any questions you guys might have? You can always reach out to us on the Instagram, and uh, as always, there's a link in the description if you guys would like to pick one up for yourselves. We'd love to see you guys ripping and uh, tag us in your videos. Thanks.